What's up guys, this is the Rifle and I am back bringing you the next episode of my my Napoleon Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So the round off where we left off, we were moving forward to engage the last Dutch city. However, we have been engaged on the open field, so we have an opportunity to destroy their garrison before they have well, before we fight attack the city itself. Their artillery is lots of six pounders. It's all six pounders. We have nines, so we do outrange them, and we have some howitzers which can get into the mix in it when the battle lines start to clash. Some interesting light infantry, Bavarian sharpshooters, and some Jaeger. But let's fight. Uh, this The main objective of this battle will be to win with as few casualties as possible because we do have that immediate military objective to conduct straight away. We don't have the luxury of being able to uh, wait and replenish. We have to act. Okay, so I believe... Because this is a nice position to drop some artillery. To be honest, the best position to drop artillery because it gives us that bit of elevation. So it may be a case of doing this. Then let's form up. Coldstream Grenadiers and Coldstream Guards. So let's do. Our, let's define our central line. I'll put the Grenadiers and a light foot on one flank. Then guards and a light foot on the other flank. Although they are the other way round, so the light foot is no, the light foot is on the outside. Good. How it's in the centre. Well, they're going to be moving up pretty rapidly. And then let's have a look at the Scots Greys. They look pretty darn good to me. So let's put the Scots Greys and some King's Light German Legion on the extreme flank. And they'll just, just move up in conjunction with my armies. And let's put some Dragoons on the left. And then my general will be in the centre. Perfect. Because they're my enemies are moving into position from behind, from behind them. So we will want to secure this position. Maybe been a bit overzealous with my cavalry position, but they are cavalry, so we can quickly deploy them in the cover of the trees. is actually off to one side and let's get my guns moving these guys on the left flank may have to run to be honest I might have to run my infantry in general because it looks like they are moving up so you move around this village Henry Clinton get you into position on this hill Yep, because they are running up to meet me, so I do want to get into a good position to engage them back. It's a pity my artillery does not move so fast, but it's faster in this game than it is in Empire. We should be able... Okay, you, you guys have deployed too thick. Something more like that. You will engage in the trees... It's regular line and a unit of light dragoons. Okay, here comes the enemy cavalry swarm. Lots of light dragoons. They may be able to force me into into forming square ahead of time, but I will take that as a risk. Good. These chaps are winded. The artillery forms up. Me also, I'm tempted to deploy my howitzers a bit early. Ooh, hello. Let's 
Let's begin to threaten the Dragoons. If they wish to engage near me. Who are you after? Keep an eye on you, but my artillery is about to get into a good position to bear arms. Form these chaps into square, just as a precaution. And I'll want to get a first volley off against the Light Dragoons, because this is their general, and then halt fire and reload. Limber. And limber. So we are attacking them, but we have huge potential when it comes to our artillery. I move my cavalry up to begin to threaten their to threaten their positions. These guys are firing explosive shells. They're just going to enter range. Let's pull my Scott, pull my dragoons back so they don't get subject to unnecessary fire. My entire battery barrage. You have this artillery advantage. Use it. Form square because there's quite a large cavalry charge coming through on all flanks. I'm pressing square to remind myself where my lines are. I'm pressing space to remind myself where my lines are. Keep my cavalry back. Keep my infantry in square. So they may be able to charge. No, they are broken, so that is not a concern. This light horse is about to get a serious. Who's back here? General Staff. I think my, my cavalry might be able to manage that. Okay, now they are, they are routing. I thought they were coming back for a second. Let's begin to move these guys up to capture the woods. Let's move up my Dragoons. Okay, we're being engaged by their guns, so bring the Scots Greys into the charge with my cavalry. Yep, they're hitting us with their six pounders. Charge into their cavalry. Change all of my artillery's priorities, all engage the back line. To be honest, these guys want to break off. More than welcome to do so. Our men are running, sir. King's German Legion are routing, which is acceptable. My Scots Greys are were wavering. They will probably come back. I need to do... I need to keep my micro here. My dragoons are engaging the general staff. These guys charge on into their last unit of guns. I 
get my men over to join oh god this is going to be a this is going to be a cluster God, and there comes their Let's see if I can try and withdraw all my Scots Greys. Hopefully smashing into that horse artillery unit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Extricate yourself. Make sure these chaps are all firing at will. Good. Come on, just spam click. Well, I mean, if they're going to break off, then you may as well run into that artillery unit just to upset them a bit. Wavering, make them route. Go straight into that unit of artillery. God, I should have done this a long time ago. Beam my my dragoon straight in. Hit the Jaeger with my remaining cavalry. I see that. I see that spike unit, spike position. Hit their last unit of guns. Gun it back. Well, no, you may as well knock a few more of them down as they're on the way. They get back to your lines, chaps. You bash straight into this horse artillery unit so they don't feel any temptation to come back. Good, now fall back. Good, that's their artillery defeated. So let's pull. Ah, nope, you've come back. Good old Scots Greys. In which case then, let's halt your firing and make you just fire at will, because you can engage anyone. Let's retire the Scots Greys. King's General Legion Dragoons, looking tired, but they have got many kills. And now our artillery supremacy is complete. let us move our lines forward if possible so there are many Dutchmen who will live to fight another day um, however our artillery superiority now allows us to do a lot of interesting things. Second Light Dragoon Regiment. I should really be deploying my cavalry into this mess, but there's not really... Good cavalry is vulnerable. 
See, they are rallying themselves. They're coming back, which is what I want. Let's keep my Scots Greys with this Union of Dragoons. Now, Scots Greys, now! Because they are good. Compared to a Dragoon unit, much higher charge damage, much higher melee attack. They've got higher defence and their morale is better. There we go. Their infantry is now getting within range. God, that'd be a juicy target. Must be cautious of this flank because they could conceivably do something sneaky. So in which case I might do that. Destroy the Dutch Dragoons. Okay, in which case then let's take my... entire flank here and... move it up these guys will probably be engaged by this flank. My howitzers are getting towards the edge of their range so let's limber up. My artillery has no such qualms. Plenty of targets still within range except we're losing the opportunity, opportunity to kill lots of men but I'll take that in place of a steady advance. I probably will leave my guns there to fire over my troops. Not maximizing firepower, but we're just moving up into their face. Howitzers move up, although they'll probably not get a chance to engage in this battle. Let's have a look at the Coldstream Grenadiers. They look fab. I do like their hats, their bearskins. And then let's have a look at my Coldstream Guards. Oh, yes. They're the to be honest, I don't know my uniform super well. I see those, I think, light infantry epaulets. Like these guys, but there's probably going to be an a real difference that I don't know. Yep. They do not wish to do battle. We will force them. Keep our cavalry uh, positioned ready to pounce. And move up my general, because he's not going to do anything useful back here. May as well use a bit of barrages, because I have no real need to keep them. They're moving up to meet us, so let's make some of my infantry jog the last few steps. Same with these guys. So who are you? These are line infantry units. Marching into the face of death go... Some Bavarian sharpshooters backed up well, with a meat shield of militia. goes up around this flank. There, they form square. They're not going to get caught out. No way, Jose.
There you go, light foot. Again, in my armies, fighting is line infantry. Just a smaller unit of 240 troops, but devastatingly accurate. Oh, yes. Okay, let's make... Engage in melee combat. Charge in. These guys go in against the Van Waldeck Regiment. My weak cavalry can help chew up the Bavarian sharpshooters and stay away from the square, which is about to get hit by damn near everything I've got. These guys form up, ready to engage this line infantry unit. Pull these guys out. Okay, if they want to do it this way. In which case then you guys don't bother doing that. You guys move up too. Full on charge. Pull back you, but not you. You chase down the Van Waldeck Regiment. Long charge in to combat, but necessary. Some of these guys keep chasing after. Yeah, they form square, so. Oh, okay, they've all. Okay, they've regrouped. No, they haven't. To be fair, that's fair enough for my dragoons to route like that. But then the infantry blob swarm. Let's keep Henry Clinton on the move. Oh, yes, this is beautiful, this is glorious. Strain of them, Henry Clinton. You go after some someone because right now you have no, you have very little actual killing experience yourself. And here come the charge of the grenadiers. men due to my own cavalry charging into them but to be honest I might even just do that and let my just my infantry have a go and we engage the line infantry so we're not taking more casualties than we'd need to but you know what I think this is just fun chase them down men I believe that's every unit, so I'm just going to speed up time. Absolutely continue. Yeah, there's no sense chasing that guy down. Let's run my cavalry over here. The general's going to continue doing what generals do. He's got himself a bit of experience. Got some more killing under his belt, and then he can come over here chase down this unit of cavalry this unit of infantry rather because these are effectively the last ones remaining ah but they are going to escape still a nice solid victory but we shall see exactly how much damage we have done lost 800 men 3000 men remaining they have 1200 they have fallen back so all of our units have taken a bit of a hammering. But we are going to... Which I might siege them for a moment. 
And then if they for force them to attack me and I'll be on the defensive, that sounds like it might be quite a good idea. You guys are still replenishing here. Oh no, you're replenishing because of this force that's attacking, is attacking Brandenburg, but I would like John Moore to make the final assault. If possible. You're replenishing. We should also have some artillery coming up to reinforce Venice. Yes, let's recruit a military can build a military academy because why not? So how's our technology going? Ooh, we could upgrade to a newer Oh no, I've got the Oh I need a Supreme Court. Do I not have a Supreme Court? Oh I'm building one. I see. Oh, yes, you have been you have been picked up and you will deploy your army somewhere, T B D. Gleaves is unhappy. For now, Arthur Wellesley's moving up, ready to engage the engage in the Munich area against multiple stacks. Okay, I think let's hit end turn. Ships moving into port. My spies on the move. Another spies on the move. Yes, that is fast. Good. Well, fast, quote unquote. Sorry, Russia, you are going to be declared on eventually. I am rather pleased that the Prussians managed to capture Austria because it means that the Austrians have lost one of their main territories to actually resist. But I may have to take it sooner rather than later because it's pumping troops eastwards. See, oh, hitting the bridge would have been a. Oh, you've tried to go around. You're trying to go around. Okay, they're trying to outflank my generals to the north. Ooh, I have a plan. There are as many, many trees in that region, so I may wish to either scout or to position one of my own armies to ambush a Prussian army. There's a particular bottleneck. I don't like your what you're doing, Saxony. Not one bit. Batavian Republic have moved and they're going to do some raiding. Hello, Saxony. What do you think of me? We are indifferent. At war with the French, allied with a bunch of good guys. Well, if they declare on me, then the Austrian Great War may kick off. Uh, no, you're an agent, so you're going to go into Schleswig to yes. research. So I have mines in Innsbruck. Okay, I don't have a clear view where they've gone. So let's... Okay, so they've set up an ambush somewhere. So if I position here, I may, may, should be able to stop them from breaking through this gap with Bob Crawford. Let's recall the cavalry. Do I go into the hills myself? And then I might move Wellesley up to reinforce here. So maybe a bit dicey here for you, George de Dreiberg. Um, you may have multiple armies moving at you at once. And it looks like Adolf Selig is going to try and move south towards Innsbruck. Jonathan Pratt is moving towards Venice. Oh yes, I remember you. George Thomas Beresford, the man of the crazy eyes. He was marching on to Vienna himself, although actually it may be faster to just sail him with a ship. Probably would be faster. Artillery's on the way. They're being cheeky, they can do lots of raiding and cancelling of building, so I will probably then assault their capital in order to destroy this stack. And that's a fine historical battle notice there. Okay, so I'd probably like to get 
you're researching carcass shot I'm not really bothered about but next turn I'll get them onto general staff to try to recruit this to build a staff college national propaganda Ooh. national propaganda eh makes everyone grumpy with me but it makes everyone that much happier general available Charles Philip Belson I'll have to do a bit of a research on him So where do I want to? Oh, I remember you, your plan, my plan for you was to hit Stettin to come around from the north to help fight, to help capture this northern, northern area because the Russians have got Omluts. Okay, let's open up. Okay, what if I if I demand Switzerland and I'll offer you 12 grand. We're currently very friendly. They're in, I'm indifferent uh, with Prussia, with, not with Prussia, with the Austrians, so they are going to declare on me eventually. That's why I've got a nice little army here. Hold on. Why am I not doing this? Rather than doing nothing, just sit here and raid the trade the raid at the trade ports. The gentleman he's been put to use a spy, eh? Okay, where do I want visibility? Probably something like Budapest? see what's going on in the Prussian theatre of war. You want to infiltrate Vienna. Nope, sadly did not make it. But I'm in Prague. Prague is population shrinking due to tax burden. Which is good for me. So I'm concerned about you. John Moore. You may have to move and engage Herbert Jung. Although, to be honest, I've got my Hanover garrison. They're not. They are fortified, so I probably feel fairly strong. They've got lots of artillery. They've still got storm. It may be prudent to send one of these chaps. No, eh, or is it? Or do I just do something like? Recruit some British Dutch line infantry. Or can, I, or can I recruit some special Hanover infantry? Nope. Brunswick sharpshooters. Let's get to, there you go. Let's do a bit of recruitment in Hanover just to bolster the garrison. Um, I think I'm probably going to finish off the Dutch. However, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Oldenburg and the destruction of the Batavian Republic.